There are five different places you can add custom artwork to your non-Steam games. Once you've added the game to your Steam library, it will be at the bottom under Categorized. In this case, I am using Mario Kart 64 as an example. Right click on the game and add to favorites. You can remove it once done, but this step is required for the tutorial. The first piece is the large banner where I am pointing. To get started, open your internet browser and type in the name of the game plus Steam Banner. Your top search will be a website called Steam Grid DB. Go ahead and click on it. Find the artwork of your choosing and download it. You can click the download icon or right click save image as. We are going to save this to the desktop. I renamed it to make it easy. Now go back to Steam and right click on the black empty area, then set custom background. Find your first piece of downloaded art, then hit open. The second thing we want to change is the logo. Go back to your browser. You can go back to Steam Grid and click on logo or you can manually search for logos. In this case, I'm using Google search as an example. Find a logo you like, then download it to your desktop and rename it something easy like before. Go back to Steam, find your game, right click on the area shown, then click on set custom logo. Find your logo, then click on open. The third piece we want to update is the icon as shown on screen. Go back to your browser and click on the icons text where shown. Pick your favorite and download it to your desktop and rename it something easy once again. Back on Steam, right click on your game, then go down to Properties. Click on the large icon next to the game as shown, then find the third artwork you downloaded, then open. Then close out the Properties box. For the fourth artwork, click on Library, then Home. If you've never launched your game before, go ahead and launch it now so that your game shows up under Recent Games. Once you've launched it once, you will get this blank artwork for your game. Let's go back to your internet browser. You can go back to your Steam Grid DB or do a Google search like I did. It doesn't matter. Just find something you like. This is also the artwork you will see in big picture mode, so I recommend a high resolution art. Save it to the desktop and name it something easy. Go back to Steam, right click on the game as shown on the screen, manage, then set custom artwork. Find your downloaded artwork and hit open. For the fifth and final piece, here's what I found the easiest way to find it. Launch any Steam game, then close it out. In my case, I was able to hit stop before it launched and it still worked. Once the game has fully stopped, Go back to library, then home as shown. Now under your recent games shelf, you will see your game is now second in the list and without artwork. Go back to your internet browser and go back to Steam Grid DB. You will need to find a tall piece of art that fits properly. Download it and name it something easy. Now go back to Steam and find your game. Right click over the game as shown, then manage, then set custom artwork. Find your piece of artwork, then open. Now all your custom artwork is set. Let's open Big Picture Mode to test it out. Go ahead and launch your game. Remember that launching your game will move the artwork to the front. Close the game out and you should see the longer banner also has artwork if you follow it along correctly. Now I have one more tip for you to wrap up the video. Go ahead and exit big picture mode, minimize Steam and find your artwork on the desktop. Go ahead and delete everything.
Go back to Steam and you will see that all your artwork is still intact. Even if you close Steam, the artwork will still be there. The only exception is the icon, but now you know how to add it back in if you want. Just be sure to place it on a separate folder so you don't accidentally delete it. That's it for this video. If you learned something, a like and subscribe go a long way. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one.